Welcome to the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show on iHeartRadio. Coming up, mm-hmm. we talk with Bob Fuller, the founder of Keels and Wheels, and this year's show in Seabrook, Texas. Mike Mars reviews our new car of the week, the 2022 Avalon Hybrid. Plus, we'll have the upcoming events calendar along with uh, this week's automotive news headlines and car talk galore. It's just ahead on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Howdy along with Mike out of this world, Mars, King Conrad DeLong, we need more Jeff Zekin, mm-hmm. as we always do. Yeah, do. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad you could join us on this Saturday. It's great to have you along with us. And uh, if you're listening or watching on, I guess you'd be listening on iHeartRadio, mm-hmm. since it is radio. Yeah, and we were TV. told not to refer yeah, to I the know. video. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we had to sign a document and everything. That's it. So don't <laughs> refer whiz. to the video. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, so welcome uh, for our iHeart listeners. And thank you very much for tuning in to us. We heart you. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> Connor has been waiting all morning to do he, that. He's been, he's been practicing. He's been practicing. I, I, I thought it was this. It I don't is. know about your your fingers all out there. In the, mine's, mine's angel hearts. Is that what that is? His are sticky. <laughs> okay. His fingers are sticky. As opposed to Susie. No, that wasn't hard. <laughs> Joining us now, Keels and Wheels founder and uh, the big guy in town, Bob Fuller. Bob, good morning to you. It's good to see you. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you very much for for having me on. Well, on. you're on our uh, debut broadcast on iHeartRadio, so uh, it's all fitting. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, so we thank you very much for joining us. My so pleasure. we, we want to talk about uh, the upcoming Keels and Wheels uh, at uh, your local Seabrook uh, uh, venue down there, and uh, it's coming up pretty quick. At, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, April 30, May 1. Uh, is the dates for this is our 26th year. Uh, the show is held each year uh, in Seabrook, Texas at Lakewood Yacht Club, uh, which has got about 40 acres of marinas and uh, grounds. And uh, we use most of that to display uh, the cars and boats that that uh, virtually come from all over the United States to be part of our show. Now, Bob, you say that you, they use most of it. I think you're being modest. They use every inch of it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, okay, I, I confess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That and more because uh, there's off-site parking available and you sh- uh, sh- shuttle people in to see the show. And I have to say that, you know, your show down there at the Keels and Wheels event has been compared a lot to uh, the Pebble Beach uh, event uh, out in California. And I will say that the quality of cars continues to amaze me every year. Uh, you manage to bring in these absolutely gorgeous cars, all different makes, models, years. It, it truly is stunning. What is the theme at this year's show? Well, Interestingly, because of your former conversation, antique electric cars is the primary theme. And we're going to be displaying those antique electric cars along with new modern ones. And the theme is then and now. And uh, we've got uh, three or four, actually, right now, three. I'm looking at another one. uh, Antique electric cars. uh, a uh, 1907 uh, Studebaker. Oh, wow. Uh, a 1903 Columbia. Uh, 1915 Rush and Lang. All of those are coming from uh, from some museums, one in Indiana and, and the other one in Michigan. And uh, so we're going to display uh antique electric cars with and, a lot of people. And that'll, that'll, attract, exist. that'll attract a lot of attention to look at where the EVs started and then yes. to a large degree disappeared for 60, 70 years and have now reappeared for an assortment of reasons. But um, how the EVs were all basically lead acid batteries back in the day and uh, were quite efficient, but the uh, petroleum based vehicles just overpowered them and. And uh, the range anxiety was even a thing back in the teens, back when Don was in his yeah, that's where he got high it. school years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is about. But I guess I just looked the part of somebody that was born in 1917, Bob. I, that's all I can figure. But uh, at any rate, uh, uh, I understand. Is Billy Stabile coming back this year? Uh, we're talking to Billy and. Uh... We have high hopes that uh, those conversations will 
will succeed, uh, but that's still in, unconfirmed. Well, Billy Stabile uh, was uh, instrumental in the Ford versus Ferrari theme last year, and I will tell you, uh, yeah, I, I have he to. He was a fun interview. A great, great interview, and I, I spoke with him a couple of times after the show. Um, yeah. I, you know, we just connected on, on a level that uh, I guess is Hollywood all the way, but uh, at any rate, a very interesting guy, and um, and I hope that that works out for you. So really I, good guy. Uh, yeah, we he, hope to see him. Yeah, yes. exactly. And but I assume also that that well, first of all, I want to make it a point to point out the fact that this is not a you know brung what you run this kind isn't of car. A cruise in. No, this is not a cruise in. This is a by invite only car show. And yes. maybe maybe you could explain to everybody how that process works. Well, we send out. We have quite a large database across the country. And we send out formal invitations uh, to those individuals, many of which have participated at one point in our show, but others are new. And we also uh, have a website, keels-wheels.com, where uh, you can go online, which I'm encouraging people to do. Our our, uh, deadline has been extended to March 31st. Uh, if you have a classic automobile or vintage boat that you'd like to enter in the show, we'd like for you to do that. And you can get all the entry uh, forms and everything and do that online, again, at keels-wheels.com. But um, the, uh, we review each entry. We have a car selection committee and a boat selection committee that reviews all the entries and, and picks those that they think fits uh, our objectives and uh, the quality that we're after. Well, and and, and that that's really a, an important point for people to understand is the quality that you're after. I am truly a car person, but when I go there, I am drawn to the boats. You know, and it's not just boats. I mean, you guys bring ships in. <laughs> you know, you guys have some of these, you know, these big, huge yachts that – the owners actually invite the people to come to the show on the on these. I'm, I'm going to call them a ship to get a, a tour of the ship, you know, permission to come aboard, take your shoes off kind of thing, uh, stay a while. Well, no, I don't think they want you to stay a while. <laughs> but um, as beautiful as those are, all the way down to uh, the Chris Crafts, the Rivas, the beautiful boats of the wooden boat era, which is, you know, just so nostalgic for me. I need to interject, if I may, the other, the boating side of our uh, theme is that this is the 100th anniversary of Chris Craft Boats. Okay. So we're celebrating Chris Craft, and we will have quite a, quite a number of Chris Craft of every size and year you can think of from, from the early uh, runabouts to, and cruisers to the more modern, uh, by modern, I mean, in the end of the, 40s or 50s, uh, Chris Craft cruisers. Yeah, and and so probably that's... The way of Chris Craft, along with other types of boats like Yellow Jacket and uh, uh, Riva and that sort of thing. So yeah. And if you have... Very a, much a classic car and vintage boat show. And there's not many places you can go see that collection of those era boats in one place. I mean, you can see one here. On the water. You can see one yeah. there. You know, coming to keels and wheels, you can see them in the water. Some of them are up on, on the deck, but a majority of them are actually in the water. Now, Bob, you said yeah. 100 years for Chris Craft. Did, did, they, did you all specifically go after more of those boats, or is it just the normal entries? No, we've tried to focus on recruiting more of the Chris Craft. And, gotcha. And uh, turn to the national clubs and... and uh, and those those entries are still coming in, and and, and then, those those boats are so beautiful. Yeah, There's yeah. A lot of the other major manufacturers like Century, uh, beautiful Century Coronado, and uh, coming, and so you know we're after all sorts of classic and vintage boats, but the focus is on a hundred years of Chris Craft. Well, I I will say this, that uh, that is one element that uh, draws me to it. And you have a a, a fellow that uh, you've been partnered with for a number of years that uh, really heads up that aspect of the Keels and Wheels event. And he is so knowledgeable, and everybody loves him. He's got one of those charismatic uh, 
uh, personalities that really comes through. But he, he knows all about those boats, and it's truly amazing. Uh, for us car aficionados, we never even think about that there is a boat aficionado. I can't remember yeah. his name, but a great guy. The first, the first year we had the show, uh, we had 100 cars and 37 boats. And I didn't know how to set up the judging. So I had the car owners judge the boats and the <laughs> boat owners judge the cars. And what came of that was that the car owners realized that these guys restoring these boats were just as meticulous uh, and nuts about it as they were about their cars. And uh, so now we have quite a large, quite a number across the country of car collectors who have one or two uh, Chris Craft or vintage run runabouts in their collection. What I like is the uh, the Woody automobiles that uh, are hooked up to a wooden boat oh, yeah. trailer uh, yeah. behind it. Uh, and what a beautiful sight that is going yes. down. Yeah, just don't light a match. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we like that. So we call that a rig. Yes, a rig. Uh, so you 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 have antique electric cars, and then and now, what other uh, featured vehicles are you going to have at the show this year? All right, thanks for asking. Uh, the other features are resto mods, uh, as well as European sports, fifties uh, or older pickup trucks. Oh wow! Um, well, this is Texas, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, Pre-war uh, American classics um, and European pre-war American great European classics pre-war. Well, what a good range! Uh, a, a range again? What a good range of vehicles, and I know yeah. the uh, the local Ferrari, Lamborghini clubs have always supported. We have, we have a lot of a major showing of Ferraris and uh, some Shelby GTS, uh, as well as. Uh, uh, I think we have five Ford GT40s, uh, and one of them virtually is a 2022 taken delivery about 30 days ago. Oh, wow. Uh, is um, we Quite an interesting display there. Is Aaron going to be here? I know Aaron, has, Aaron Shelby Aaron, has been We're talking to Aaron. We haven't confirmed that he's yeah, coming. I now, I was out of the first part of your interview, Bob. You've got a special guest that's the Grand Marshal this year, don't you? We're working on that. I'm okay. not ready to announce it. Okay, that. that's why I left it to you. Oh, we were, we we're hoping to have <laughs> Don't that Don't say exclusive. anything about Don Armstrong because uh, I'm not going to be the Grand Marshal. I'm going to I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to turn him down again this year. You're Sorry, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and Don had kind of briefly mentioned it earlier. Um, uh, Lakewood um, is a great place to have the show, but – Parking is kind of restricted there at uh, at Lakewood. So you and the community have come up with parking vent areas off site that bus people to the front gate. So Thanks for mentioning that. That makes have. it super simple. And if I if I remember correctly, it's free. It is free. Free parking and shuttle. Uh, the uh, parking lots are well marked up and down NASA one. Uh, Parkway, as well as Highway 146. Um, so there's lots of signage directing you to the uh, parking areas uh, and the free shuttle buses, which run back and forth virtually all day. Which makes Keels and Wheels a better value for the weekend than an Astros game, a Rockets game, a Texans game, or any of the others, because you can't park for free at any of them. Well, two of those aren't even in season now. Well, so. it's, they, they well, all, they're all I agree horrible. With that. So, uh, yeah, it's a great great way to start off May of uh, 2022 is come out to uh, Keels and Wheels, look at the stunningly beautiful boats, and the wonderful collection of cars, because your your range of cars is going to cover both ends of the spectrum, because you're going to have yes. the new electrics. <clears throat> um, and I'm assuming with that, you're getting some help from the uh, Tesla Club of Houston um, and uh, and the antique electrics, which are going to be kind of interesting to see. Yeah, I think um, that'll be real interesting. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, Cadillac in I want to not fail. I want to mention that how you buy tickets. And oh, yeah. or enter a car or a boat is go to our website at keels-wheels.com. Uh, ticket prices at the gate are forty dollars. Online in advance, like through our website, is thirty dollars. 
uh, children uh, 12 and under uh, are twenty dollars. I'm sorry, 15 and under are fifteen dollars, and 13 and and under are uh, zero. So uh, you can go on our website and purchase tickets with your credit card, and uh, if you're so inclined, uh, you can uh, open the entry section and enter a boat and or a car. Uh, we still have time for to receive some of those entries. And you still have all of those volunteers around the Lakewood Yacht Club that help you out every year, and we got to yeah. give those uh, the, those congratulations to all those fine folks that help you out because, to be honest with you, I don't think that you could pull it off without them. No. Well, that is a huge factor. I, I'm proud to say that of the major concours around the country, uh, we are the only one who's – all of the volunteers are members of the club where you that hosts the event. Hmm. So when you stop and talk to the volunteer who, you know, where are these kind of cars or where are the restrooms or whatever, you're talking to somebody who owns the ground you're standing on. And so it's their vested interest and their show, actually. So that makes it a little different. We've, we've earned a, a reputation, which I'm proud of, of being the most hospitality related uh, event in the country we're wow. proud of that, that well i have great. to tell you that uh, you know when i do talk to the volunteers when we're out there they're all so proud of what they're doing and the event that they help you put on every year that they're it's all kind of like one family that you've got going on out yes. there yes. and and the the funds are raised for four keels and wheels for a couple of very specific charities uh, well the, the funds are raised uh with a dual purpose. One is to be able to afford to put on the show. Right. And the other is to support another event we have in the summer called Keels and Wheels Uncorked, which is a pure uh, fundraiser for the, the two charities, which is the Lighthouse uh, Charity Team and the Cole, uh, Cole Gordon, Gordon Foundation. Foundation. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Bob, it's uh, great to talk to you. As always, April 30th and May 1st is the only weekend uh, for Keels and Wheels. It's a once-a-year event, and if you are a car or boat person or just a social hound or maybe perhaps you like to go and see a, a, a country club that is absolutely stunningly beautiful and uh, steeped in hit history, I would think that you would want to go to Keels and Wheels at the Lakewood Yacht Club down in Seabrook, Texas. Bob, it's great to talk to you, keels Wheels. -dot com is the place to go to find out more information and we look forward to seeing you when we come down there and we've posted a link on our uh, facebook page all right thank, thank you gentlemen very th much th thanks thank Bob. you it's good to talk to you all right hey if you'd like to get in touch with us shoot us an email if you would please our address is info at in .com. again we'd like mm -hmm. to welcome uh, on board iheart radio and uh, our new broadcasting <laughs> partner, Conrad's the broadcasting partner. God, you need to let that go. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, and uh, I will tell you that uh, iHeart.com, uh, get the iHeart app on your phone, and you can listen to us 24 7 uh, uh, on the iHeart. Thanks. I'm going to wake up at 2 in the morning and listen to it. And you know, it. it uh, okay. Never mind. Time now for the events calendar. Give him something else to Give do. Something Here's to do. Conrad. He just wrote all over it. So uh, tonight at uh, 3 to 9 p.m. is Nifty 50's Cruise In at Buckthorn Place in the Woodlands. Uh, classic Car Cruise In. Uh, there is a $10 entry fee. Um, then uh, also uh, tomorrow night is Freddy's Steak Burgers at uh, 1960 in Eldridge, basically, and that's a cruise in. There's a no entry fee at all. And then on the 13th as well is from noon to 3 p.m. is Classics at the Courthouse. They can come see you in jail, Tom. <laughs> At Grimes Again. County Grimes County Courthouse in Anderson, Texas, classic only. Where is Anderson, Texas? That way. That way. Got it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I, well, actually, I think it is that way. Honey, it is. Uh, it's a $25 entry fee. Thanks a lot. Uh, Freddie's Steak Burger is on the 16th, 
uh, and that's in Katy off of Fry Road. Uh, tonight, the Splendora Car Meet. Yeah, right. Splendora is an open cruise, uh, no fee. Uh, also tonight is a Saturday night uh, Bass Head meet, and that's in Beaumont, Texas. Bass Head. Bass Head. Well, it's Beaumont, you know. <laughs> Bass Head. Well, they had to put the B in front of it so it sounded better. <laughs> <laughs> also tonight is the Brookshire Brothers one. Cruise Inn in Montgomery, Texas, <laughs> and the Wharton Cruise Night uh, down in Wharton, Texas. And that's Wonderful. 6 p.m. till everybody goes home. Wow. Lots of stuff all around town. Bass Head mm -hmm. without the B. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, our heart listeners. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is what you get. Time now for this hour's car review. Mr. Mars uh, has a review of the Toyota Avalon Hybrid. Yes, sir. I do. And wow. Okay. I, I took this picture especially for Don. He loves those big grills. Oh, God, that's so ugly. I just can't <laughs> even imagine. It, it looks like one of those weird fish from the bottom of the sea that never see daylight. It, the blowfish. With the, yep. with the mouth that is overwhelmingly huge. We're not supposed that to is reference overwhelmingly that huge. Dude, is that, is that attractive to you? We're not referencing Is videos. that attractive to you? I like it. You do. Seriously? No. It looks he like a like snowblower. <laughs> he, he likes big front ends. He likes big front ends that he cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and Michael. On, on with the review. <laughs> so what we're talking about Hope here is mom's the 20, listening. 22. You do realize that uh, Toyota is going to be listening to this review, <laughs> and we've already dissed them about their front end on the Avalon, their high-end car. Restart. Oh, Jeff likes it. Um, so we're talking about the 2022 Toyota Avalon Hybrid. Now, this is the fifth gen of the Avalon, and it is the hybrid model. And I was very surprised to learn that this is the final year of production for the Avalon. Oh. Th they're not going to make a 23 forward. So, are the, uh, But they're still going to bring a full-size car. Are they going to bring the crown to the United States? Did not say. I haven't read that. I didn't see anything about what was replacing it, but I just found several references. Toyota and everybody else, this is the last one. Huh. So I was a little surprised <laughs> to, to learn that because I thought that was – um, one of their, you know, by the time you look at some of their others, their top, not necessarily the top of the line, but it's their big, larger sedan. It's still classified as a midsize, though. Mike, they don't sell any of them. You never well, see them. I, I knew somebody true. that bought a brand new one, bought a brand new one, and disliked it from the day that they got it. Really? Yeah. I, I did, and they wound it's, up selling it's it. sized up from the Camry, though. Yes, it is. It is. It is. And uh, so, so already, so you can't get the... They're all-wheel drive for 22 in it, and there's a couple other things that you can't get that they've already dropped since they're going to drop the production of it. You can get the hybrid, though, in three different trim levels. You can get it in an XSE, an XLE, and a limited uh, trim level once you get into that hybrid pack package. It is a five-passenger vehicle. Obviously, they didn't make a lot of changes for 22 because it is going out. Um, I will say I, I did like the vehicle uh, on the outside of it. It's got some basic lines on it. It looks like a lot of other vehicles that are in the market in that segment. Uh, you're going to find on it, it's got the adaptive cornering headlights, which I really like. Uh, the LED lighting all the way around. It rolls on some nice 18-inch aluminum alloy, chrome alloy wheels. When you get inside of it, uh, it's pretty roomy. It's got We had the premium leather seating. The front seats are heated and ventilated. Uh, we had the 8-inch center stack where we can monitor uh, all our convenience controls. It had the bird's round view on it. Uh, we had the 10-inch heads-up display that was above the engine's power, uh, the uh, gauge pod. That I really, really liked it. It was multicolored, had a lot of information on it. It's got a folding rear seat, 14-inch, uh, 14-speaker sp audio system in it. And uh, the other thing I really liked about this vehicle, it's got a wide mouth trunk opening. When you go to open it, it opens all the way up, and you're not hitting your head on it. Mm. Kind of like that grill. Yes. Yeah. So um, to make all this stuff go up on the front, because it is the hybrid, it's got a, a 2.5 liter on the gas engine side of it, and it's got a 215 combined horsepower equivalent to it. It's backed by an electronic CVT. They were very specific about putting the electronic CVT there, and I kind of thought they all were, but beside the point. So the EPA says you should be looking for like 43 in the city, 43 on the highway, 43 combined. <clears throat> I got 36.7 across the 238.3 miles that That's I drove. That's pretty good. And, well, I thought it was great. I did find it, it was a very comfortable driving vehicle, and when I sat in it, 
Uh, it was quiet, but it had more than adequate power with the hybrid system. It's not a sports sedan, even though it's got a few of those touches like the adaptive headlights and even the uh, – it's not built to be a stuff. sports sedan. No. It's a luxury sedan. It is, but it but it seems to handle the road quite well as far as curves that you're normally going to find on the highway and stuff. It, it handles those very nicely. But, again, not a sports car, so you don't have to deal with all that sports car ride. Now, the base trim price on this vehicle is $37,250. Uh, as price tested, it's $48,893. Yeah. So it's, it's a little pricey. And when you particularly when you go look at the uh, some of the other competitors like a Honda Accord hybrid starts at twenty seven. But this is bigger than an Accord. Whatever. But it's in the same category. Go ahead. The uh, Hyundai Sonata hybrid starts at twenty seven two. So it's it's a little it's a little more pricey than some of them. But I also happen to like it better than I like those other two. That's good. And and Synergy Drive they've proven that as a platform on the Prius for what twelve fourteen years now. You know, yeah. I, w- I would like to sit down with the people at Toyota and go, OK, which which ones of you hit the OK mark on approving that front grill? <laughs> well, but if you if you look at some of the other products, I mean, they're they're all following that same pattern. It's it's like somebody's got that design. That well, their large grill design in their mind, and there may be a purpose for it, though it could probably be a little what more. Would, what would the purpose designed. be? Well, the purpose of any grill is cooling. Oh, but did you see the actual opening in the size of that monster? It's not very big. Oh, okay, well, it's all fake it's stuff. All it's style. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a marketing. You know, because some thing. of them have got little vents and things on the sides over there. Well, they just ran the grill all the way across on this one instead of doing all that. I just, I, I, I just don't understand it. But I, there's a lot of things in life I don't understand. Yep. That's just three times. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Clearly, well, I didn't they, do they it. didn't understand me. One or the other. It's so true. <laughs> but you have two wonderful daughters. One of them soon to be married. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And you're taking off for that. Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> On the show? Yeah. I don't know. I might. I might do the show. Oh, okay. Why, why do you think I'm not going to be able to do the show? Because I figured your daughter's wedding was more important. We should all wear but tuxedos it, or something. But, you know, well, we it could. doesn't go you know, all day. That's all going to happen up. in the evening. So you know, I think I'll, I'll be here that day. I was in a wedding party one time. We wore the black tuxes with white tennis shoes. That was real. Oh. Worked out well. Oh, Beaumont. Yeah. 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 Neaterville. Neaterville. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That only, put, white tennis shoes and the coveralls. Put, <laughs> no, no coveralls. The bride said no to the coveralls. Put the B in front of it to make it sound better. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show mm-hmm. is now part of the iHeart family, and I know that they are <laughs> thrilled anymore. to have us. <laughs> and we're available 24-7 at iHeart.com or through the iHeart app. Just look for In Wheel Time Car Talk. We still stream on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and InWheelTime.com. Podcasts available still from your favorite podcast provider, too. Heck, we're everywhere. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show continues right after this quick break. Saturday, March 19th, 2022 is the premiere of the all-new Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise Inn, and you're invited. Tailpipes and Tacos kicks off a new seasonal format, and first up is the Spring Cruise Inn at the Loopy Tortilla in Katy, 8 to 11 a.m., Saturday, March 19th. Tailpipes and Tacos will award trophies for the best hot rod, best classic, and best modern classic, so make plans now. Tailpipes and Tacos is Houston's coolest cruise inn, and this is where you'll enjoy seeing the best hot rods, show cars, classics, and resto mods, along with Loopy Tortilla breakfast tacos and adult beverages. There's no entry fee, and all cars will automatically compete for custom Loopy trophies and other prizes. It all happens at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard, just south of I-10. Get your ride ready for the all-new Spring Tailpipes and Tacos, Saturday, March 19th. It's going to be a huge car show, and spectators are welcome. The in Wheel Time Car Talk Show will be there, too. Let's celebrate the arrival of spring and the return of Tailpipes and Tacos, Saturday morning, March 19th, 8 to 11 a.m. at the Loopy Tortilla in Katy. We'll see you then, weather permitting. And by the way, speaking of which, that's next weekend for the In Wheel Time uh, Tailpipes and Tacos uh, duel-a-thon out there in, in the parking lot out in Katy. But I talked to Stan yesterday, and he says, Don, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it. i got to go make a run out to California. And he says, uh, so um, you're in charge of <laughs> judging <laughs> the entries because there's going to be trophies and everything. And I'm going, well, I got a car show. 
Go, okay, sure, I'll, we'll do that too. <laughs> so we're talking about how we were going to do all of that. And if Biff is listening to the show, Biff, we need your help. Biff. Biff. So uh, at any rate, so that's next Saturday, Tailpipes and Tacos. Come on out and join us. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show is now part of the iHeart family. Now you'll have access to 24-7 car talk anytime you need a fix. Just download the iHeart Radio app and ask for In Wheel Time Car Talk, and there we are. Be sure to save us in your iHeart library for instant access. No matter where you are, you have the best car talk show right on your PC, laptop, or mobile device and never have to worry about finding us again. Of course, you can always get access to our video and audio streams via InWheelTime.com and your favorite podcast channel, and all of this is free to you. From the iHeartRadio app, you'll not only hear our Saturday morning live show, but the best shows of the past updated weekly. Never miss a minute of up-to-date new car reviews, pre-owned reviews, Conrad's Car Clinic, informative interviews, automotive news, and the most fun car talk show on the planet. Just download the iHeartRadio app, search for In Wheel Time Car Talk, save it to your library, and with a tap of the icon, you'll be in touch with your favorite car talk team. In Wheel Time Car Talk, streaming now on iHeart.com slash In Wheel Time Car Talk.